8x8 co-browsing allows agents to assist customers remotely via a shared browser. Let's take a look at the ways in which a co-browse session can be initiated. If you are enabled to receive chat queue interactions, the chat tab will blink red when an inbound chat is offered to you. Click Accept to establish a chat session. To invite a customer to co-browsing, click Invite for co-browsing from the Chat Interactions drop-down menu. The customer will then have to accept your invitation. When the customer accepts, you will receive a notification. Click the Join button inside the co-browsing session started notice in the chat log. A customer can also request a co-browse session via the chat window by selecting the pull-down menu from within the chat box and selecting the co-browse icon. Customers can also request a co-browse using a button or link on your company website. This will generate a unique session code for the customer to share with you over the phone. The session will begin once you enter the code in your co-browse screen. Certain fields that the customer types in may be hidden from the agent's view during co-browse. For example, a credit card entry field may be hidden from the agent's view. Co-browse can be configured to give an agent full control, partial control, or no control over the customer's screen. Full control gives the agent synchronized navigation as well as the ability to highlight and fill in fields on the customer's browser. Partial control allows the agent to navigate the customer's browser and highlight key areas, but the agent cannot fill in fields for the customer. No control is a view-only mode. Agents can see the customer's web browser, highlight and offer guidance, but cannot navigate or edit forms. Either the agent or the customer can end a co-browse session by closing the screen, or the session can be ended from the chat interactions drop-down menu.